Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Veos and I recently raged quit from Solar Nations just for a little while. Uh, map errors or map graphic glitches just did something horrific. Um, it's going to be a while before I figure out how to tie that all in to the series. Um, anyway, just want to let everyone know that next week I'll be working nights. So that's going to be fun. All right. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to do this in version 1.2.2 because unfortunately 1.3 just uh, for some reason CCAN it's not working. I can't get real solar system from CCAN on 1.3. I don't know what the problem is, but until they fix it, I'm just going to have to go to 1.2.2. Alright, so this is everything that I've downloaded. Take a good look. Hopefully it's everything we need. Let me know if there's anything else that we need. And like I said before, I'm just going for the engineering aspects of it. Not really looking for anything pretty or life support. I just want to see if I can build rockets that could possibly work in real life. Okay, so I'm having a little bit of a problem. As you can see, I've got a big tank with a shuttle, space shuttle engine on it. And when I put on liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen, it doesn't give me any TWR or delta V whatsoever. Meaning that the space shuttle engine, well, for this configuration of game whatever, isn't reading it. So it's saying that it's not using it, but when I remove this and put kerosene in there, all of a sudden, oh yeah, space shuttle engine runs on kerosene and liquid oxygen, which from what I understand was not the case. I'm almost positive that the shuttle engine ran off of hydrogen, so I'm really confused. Oh my gosh, I'm just about to say fuck it and play PUBG. Nothing works, okay. Except for kerosene, because as we all know, the space shuttle ran off of kerosene. Right. Alright, now we're just trying to close this up and make it look pretty. So I'm gonna grab one of these delta. Maybe I can make it bigger. Oh, shit. Oh, oh my. Oh, oh, oh no, no, okay, no. Damn. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm gonna try something new here. All that hard work. Voila. Ah. Okay, we might be working with something here. Alright. Alright, well, <clears throat> hasn't exploded yet, that's a good thing. I have no idea how this is going to work. Hopefully it doesn't get in the way of the launch. Now it's a bunch of testing, we have enough Delta V, we've got a lot of payload. Oh crap, I forgot to put management shit on here, fuck. 
Okay, so I went back and I put action groups number zero on our payload. Now, um, I don't know how much this weighs in, in, in RSS, if it changes the weight any or what the case is. I want to think that it's maybe the same kind of weight, but I don't know how the whole kerosene liquid oxygen thing works. But hopefully, uh, that's a lot of weight being put into, I was about to say Kerbal Orbit, Earth's orbit, and uh, for a single staged vehicle. Activating engines. Let's see if this empties out first, hopefully. Yes, it looks like it. Very nice. Full power. And launch. What in the fuck? Obviously we're going to need more than auto strut. So, let's bring our let's bring our tried and trusted struts back in here. What? F fucking happened? Something's not right here. Highest speed achieved 3 million meters per second. It says the SSRT crashed into Earth. Something's not right. I bet you it's a fucking glitch. Six million meters per second. Okay. Um, looks like I'm headed out of the solar system. <sighs> okay, so now we're at 90 million meters per second. I'm sure if I was Danny I'd be having fun with this. But I'm not Danny and I'm <laughs> not having fun with this at all. Alright. Well ladies and gentlemen sadly I'm all out of time. Uh, I'll link a, a video of a, of a, of a similar design. Um, so you guys can go ahead and check that out. Sadly, I don't know what's going on. This is an older version of KSP because I can't download Real Soul System for the newer version. So that's that's going to be a while before I figure that out. And uh, also I have Solar Nations to worry about and how to figure out how to make that bug work. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to go ahead and uh, leave this video as it is. I do apologize. We're kind of leaving you on the edge, but unfortunately I am all out of time. So I am sorry. And next week is going to be hell on earth trying to get anything out. Because I'm working nights. <sighs> Good lord. Alright, well ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much for being a part of this channel. As always, please like and share. It helps out the channel a lot. And I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good night.